everybody welcome back to my channel guys today i'm here to do a video of when my daughter um had a seizure it's not like i don't like doing sad videos but i have learned the importance of like sharing the good news and the bad news and you know life is not always roses so as um youtubers we have to be willing to share the good stuff and the bad stuff because it's just, just going to seem like life is always perfect which is not i'm basically just going to share the story today and do a bit of a life update as well yeah um where do i start yeah i'm going to start from like the friday say about coming off to when the kids nearly finished school so probably everything kind of started feeling a bit overwhelming from about that time in the evening probably about put in say three or three o'clock onwards I quickly popped into town thinking you know, I'm gonna quickly do what I need to do and get back for when they come home from school because um, they were walking themselves home from school for a while now so um, yeah um, my second eldest normally walk my oh no, my third eldest normally walk my second eldest and the both of them walk home together and come home from school and they do go to school as well in the morning so yeah it was about the time if you see flies flying around this the garden i mean for you know a change of scenery yeah so it was about that time in the evening and i popped into town quickly with my partner to quickly sort some paperwork out and it just nothing seemed to go right didn't have internet on my phone and it was just a struggle to print everything and I you know everything just seemed so urgent and I really wanted to get it down and we went to the library things wasn't panning out came back out they directed us to somewhere else that wasn't working out either and when it was in the library got a phone call from the school saying that my son because um, it will all make sense a bit later on when I give you a bit of update as what is happening that my son was saying he's not coming home um, he want to go off to one of his friends house and I was just like Lord have mercy this is just like Groundhog Day bring me back to memory when I was having struggles with my um, eldest and I would just you know and I was very teary that day because I, I remember breaking down crying to <laughs> the deputy head on the phone and said I'm not going through this I'm not you know I don't want to know just you know call who you need to call because I'm not dealing with this right now and you know just really got myself into a bit of a tizzle really because everything just flooding back from the past but anyhow um, and it was just ongoing and then he left my daughter stuck my son was acting up so I left my daughter stuck and um, luckily one of the teachers was so nice not to allow her to walk home by herself she walked her home with one of her friends and we weren't home because we're still in town trying to sort this thing out it was just a mess I had to tell him you know go and drop him drop her to my neighbors please and stuff like that and my son was still giving problems that like he's not coming home at school sitting there so um, <clears throat> in the end I said you know it's either he comes home or he have to deal with the police or the social worker so he, long story short he said he's, he'll come home when when my partner went to pick him up he legged it run off drama 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 the whole friday this is the whole friday i'm describing to you the friday and the next day the saturday is my birthday so i don't know what was in the air but that was what was going on it just seemed a lot of unnecessary tay ta tay um not stemming from completely nothing but like i said for everyone in the video it will all make sense and i was just talking things through and say you know talking about my whole feelings like the head teacher gave me a call and just talking because then she know all my children and my eldest went there as well so I was just talking to her and I said you know how do she think I feel like even experience the fact that there was prom and my son you know just talking things through to her because I always, always could talk to her you know she's one of them um, person that been there for us through life really <laughs> my journey in Basingstoke to be fair and you know my Keep, my son didn't want to go to his graduation that's my eldest son because of um and i don't want the same thing for now for my middle son and just chatting to her and just feeling a bit like what the heck is going on but um and i was so tearful and then you know my partner have to be watching me going through all of this and feeling 
probably a little bit helpless even though he was very helpful as well at the time um it's cut a long story short so in the end um my son the one that ran up ran off he made his way home we heard the doorbell ring and um it was him and um my partner was saying, well, at least he came home, you know. Um, I don't remember the word he used, like he said. At least he made effort to come home. And I was just like, at least he made effort to come home. Because in my mind, I was just like, you know, I just had enough and a bit feeling a bit fed up. Anyway, I managed to stuck some pizza in the oven for them. And I just thought, you know what, everybody want to carry on like they can do what they want. I'm going to do what I want. I just start saying I'm going for a walk. And I went to the... Um, shops and I got some drink for my daughter as well as myself just her and myself I was being a bit selfish that day and some chewing gum and stuff and I just came back up and lined the park and just chilling out there anyway when I came in I gave her the drink and this was like after she had her dinner and stuff and she had a drink and stuff and normally at the age they are now um, speeding up because it seemed like I'll be here forever um, Normally we went to bed before them. They go to bed when they, they want to, it seems like, you know, unless I really put my foot down and they have to go to bed nine o'clock, but this was a Friday evening, so just left them to it. And I was just ignoring my son because I was really upset with him, so I was just ignoring him. He was towing the line, just eating his dinner and keeping a low profile, really. So I went to sleep and, you know, I was a bit in a, I think I went, off, I went to sleep in a little bit of a ticked off mood. And, um, this day, I don't know, didn't know the time of the night, but I had something flash against my face. Like a warning sign. I take it as a warning sign because I knew in my sleep I was saying to the whole thing, like, just leave me alone, you know, you always come flashing up, like, you know, you want to panic, put me in panic mode. There ain't nothing wrong, just leave me alone. That's what I was saying to myself in my mind. And then, I don't know how long for me to say that to myself and... I started hearing noise coming from my daughter's room because I'm lying sleeping there. My room is here and her room is behind me, basically, the next door. So my head is towards her room there. And I hear this noise coming from her room, but it's kind of a build up. So it's a slow paced noise. And I just jumped out of my sleep and sat up and I was like, Tilly Rose! And straight away, the adrenaline rushed into me and I jump off the bed because when I jump up I said Tilly Rose my partner was beside me as well and he jumped up as well and um, I don't remember because Angelo is always in the middle somewhere of us but I don't remember where he was I don't know if I jumped over him but we both ran to her room and as we run into her room the noise are building up higher and higher and higher it sounded like her and somebody was in a fight a rustle or something and it just sounded loud and scary so when we ran in there and the state when I ran in there and I saw her in the state like he came across, I don't know, the shock of it. I don't know what I could have been like thinking of it, but you just look detriment. Like she, I can't remember if her eyes were, sometimes I said her eyes was open and I can't remember if her eyes were closed, but it was just like she was vibe, the, the bed was vibrating, vibrating, saying so myself, I didn't pick up on what it was. I just screaming and picked her up and she just looked. Like she's fighting for her life, look really, really in a bad way. Like she's fighting for her life, and the bed, it was the sound of the bed that could just really, because she got like an iron bed, so the, sh the vibration of it hyping up. And I grabbed her up and I just started shouting, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, save my child, save my child, because I did not have any clue of what. And I just started praying, Lord, help her, help her. And I hugged her up, like, and she was just lifeless and probably was still shaking my hand, but I didn't know. And then my partner flew out the room as well. I didn't know where he went, but, you know, in the end, we started jotting the stories together. But I move on forward. I'm in there still. And then, you know, my son, I could see him in the shadow of me coming. And, I, you know, and I was just still in a state. And the voice came from his mouth like he said, Mom, um, you're panicking. Stop panicking. Let me get the phone. This time he had Angela in his hand there. And then I kind of clicked and I, I heard him so I came to my senses a little bit I was like yes Shane, you're right get the phone and he went and he got the phone and I was shaking then my password is Jamaica it's long you know how spelling Jamaica is long so I'm just shaking trying to type the number in trying to and the first time it didn't work because I was too nervous the second time I had to really slow down all my adrenaline and process and type the, the number in and then um, I managed to open the phone and I dialed 999 and straight away somebody was on it 
and I just started talking to them, help me, help me, please send an ambulance quick, quickly, quickly, and they were trying to get me to calm down, where are you, talking me through everything, and I told them and stuff like that, and then this time I slide in the process, I slide my daughter down on the floor and kind of set her in kind of a re um, recovery position mode, and then um, I'm looking at her and I'm talking through everything with them, and I could notice her hand doubled in the face, this hand lying that way, doubled in the face and it's licking the ground, and that's when he started processing my head, oh my god, she, she's having an epileptic, because I went to, didn't know much about it, but I went to school with children in the past that had a um, situation like that, and hear the talk of it, so it started dawning on me what was happening, and we never had nothing like this in our family, so I'm thinking it's it, but I'm still not sure, but I'm... Knowing there's life there in her, the, 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 the fear of like immediate death is slowing down and I'm saying, no, please hurry, please hurry, come, come quick. And I must admit, like the ambulance people, they didn't take long to come at all. And, you know, um, Russell said, you know, came back up and went to quickly put on clothes and he went to direct them where they, it's easy for them to access the park and get them upstairs and they rush up and stuff like that and I was just there watching helping in any way I can and they were saying mom what do you need to do you need to get some clothes on and um, you know get yourself ready so I ran downstairs quickly pull on my clothes I don't know how but I was in a more calmer state by the time they got there and stuff and I've got the clothes on and stuff like that and you know they were saying somebody need to help with the equipment to go out and I was like yeah what do I do and they were saying mom not you and they said somebody else have to help and then Russell get all the equipment that they had because they need help with them because they were carrying silly brushed out with her I'm, leave, I'm leaving out some of the bits I'm sure but I can't cover everything because you guys know and see but all this time she hasn't responded she haven't come around she haven't responded and apparently when I went downstairs it's like she go into another fit I'm not sure because when we went to the hospital and we we're discussing everything um the doctor was saying they're not sure that that the second one was an actual fit but the first one was a full-blown one which we heard and went um when you go into the ambulance the the ambulance people like they probably acting like they can't manage Tilly because she's quite hefty and I was like let me carry her let me carry her I was just in a state I grabbed her and I was carrying her because you know one of the ladies she couldn't manage so she put because two of them she couldn't manage so she kind of put her down a little bit on the floor and I said let me carry her let me carry her because I just wanted to get her there fast so I scooped her up now and started running towards and then the other lady because she went to the, the, the ambulance and she came back and she goes no 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 calm down we'll do it and she goes give me to her give her to me and I put her on her and then we went on the ambulance and I was just watching everything that was going on my eyes was peeled peeled to the dawn and Russ was just like standing like looking saying you know you know you're gonna be all right yeah I said oh yeah I'm gonna be all right don't worry just make sure the kids are all right stuff like that and when I was there that's when I was in the house I realized she threw up as well because I was stepping in soil, um, soil on, on the floor and stuff like that as well so and then they said she threw up so she threw up twice still non-responsive when we went to the the got there they rang in ahead to say you know we're gonna need a lot of help come come quick everybody was there on point the room that they director in was full of doctors and nurses and all sorts of things they start just attaching equipment to her and you know talking us through for us to explain what had happened i've explained the the, the ambulance crew explained their side as well and you know she was they they monitored her they took blood from her and said has this happened before no any allergy said just maybe fish and stuff like that and you know it was just and i was just there i just couldn't believe i was just still in shock there was time when i was just crying 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 but i have to hold myself together and compose myself and just rubbing on her legs and um after which what seemed like forever you know they were opening her eyes to see if she'd respond they were talking to her calling her name da -da 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 -da. nothing and then after a while now, after opening her eyes and she's still going in and out, in and out, um, she put her hand up and wave. People, that was it. I was just in tears. I was just like, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. And I think after they saw that, they were like, right, she's coming out of it now. So the panic had just subsided. And every time I just lie there, because she's still sleepy as well. She was still sleepy and she's still tired. And you know, just they just have the monitors on her and stuff like that checking. And I was just crying, I was just thinking, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. It's just I went through a whole processing of just watching my child and just hoping that 
everything's all right because it's nothing we've experienced before it's nothing we we used to it was just when we're compiling story when um, my partner ran downstairs he was on the house phone that's what he ran down to do was on the house phone trying to get the ambulance to so it was two of us trying to get the ambulance because the house phone wasn't mobile they said you know just allow her to stay on the mobile that i was on and um you know that would be better because i'm talking as i'm looking at her and stuff like that so that's what he was downstairs doing um i'll give god thanks that he was there because he was only there because it was my birthday the next day because normally would have gone back to his house to um prepare for work the next day so i was so glad he was there he had to call in his work and take time off the whole thing was just a panic when you know after at the hospital when after about probably a couple of hours or so when she kind of come around fully they said that they're gonna put us somewhere where it's more quiet and they took us to the children ward upstairs when she was coming from the bed they wanted to slide her from the bed to the other bed and us you know because I said she never moved but she was fully awake I said you know just allow her and see what happened because of the movements to see if you can do it herself and they listened and they allowed her to do it until he just up on her two feet and over to the bed and I just you know I was just like giving God all the praises that she just walked to the next bed and ever since that you know she's talking through things she said she could have heard everything because the, the doctor said she's not going to be able to remember everything but everything she was telling me sound like she was hearing she said she was hearing everything because I never said anything to her she'd be able to tell me back all sorts of stuff that she was hearing but she just couldn't speak and that was the first sign I don't know they couldn't tell me what caused it and anything she got some outpatients um test to do because the next day which was my birthday they released her in the um evening that day and stuff like that and we just got outpatient appointment now but like you know you just give me a new wake-up call like you give me when i tell you a drilling in my step a wake-up call so sometimes you take your eyes off the ball you know you take you can, and she get the least least attention i mean she does you know crave for attention sometimes and i just say tilly rose you know just stop your nonsense blah 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 and stuff but she get the least attention and sometimes you know your eyes and she said mom you know i, I had a cold for like about a week now and little little things just make me just feel guilty like you know sometimes when she say she's sick i'm thinking oh yeah you get up in the morning you're sick you you know she's not gonna take time off school but i'm always just like yeah yeah you're going, you're going to school you're not sick and send her off but like now i just have to be so mindful and listen to her because all that time not even a bit of cowpo she didn't even get because normally you know we just fight things off by ourselves like we go off our own strength and it's not good and it just made me realize that i just have to keep an eye and you know because all the drama are happening with um my elders sometimes i just think you know what's the point killing yourself and you know you got no control of how things gonna evolve or how things gonna tend out but i also learned that it's very important to just make sure you just keep aware and do your best same way and keep your eyes um open and just try keep trying and not to give up and stuff and you know just like giving you guys a quick little update as well um we're in the middle of moving transitioning from moving from basingstow going to my partner's side as well and um a lot of changes you know me and my eldest wasn't communicating as much but we're communicating a lot better now just sit down and have a chat talk through things that happened in the past and he just kind of just want to do what he just a free spirit just want to do what he want to do i'm just trying my best to be there as best as i can of what he can allow me and not to be taken advantage of at the same time um but like you just have to do your best and try and make sure that you're there for the the ones that need you as well and and want you to be there for them that's what i've learned and you just give me a new wake-up call because sometimes i'm moping around not want to go um to do the school run even though the kids i'm trying to give them their independence as well but now because of what happened i'll just make sure that i'm up ready bath myself bath angelo on the roads go drop them off even though makeup makeup less makeup on whatever the case may be just making sure that i'm there just in case you know and just trying to be um present basically because sometimes it's just like i'll just shut down um for those who know um our 
for those who don't know like you know I just had a lot of struggles with my eldest and I think three major things happened to me in my life like when I lost my daughter first and um, years ago and when I had the struggles with my son those are the like the most traumatic stuff and then now this happened with Tilly Rose but you know what happened to my son I feel like it kind of crippled me a bit like you know you had so much hopes and and plans in your mind how things is gonna work out and it, it kind of doesn't go that way you just think you know and you feel like um what's the point you know made me kind of lose a lot of love for life and people and all the rest of it it's sad really but i tell you something like what happened with tilly the other day just kind of like made me think you know rose you you can do this you know don't half ass it you know so i just hope that i can share my story as i go along with you guys but i just have a sense of gratefulness just to see even my see my daughter that i could just hug her and just see her running around and just looking at her and just being thankful you know and thinking you know god you know just giving thanks to him and no matter what he always provides for us he always wake us up in the morning so let me not um half ask things just try my best even not to let um kill myself out but really know that i made effort that i don't feel that huge sense of guilt to say my god you know even the fact that i could have given her some help at some point when she was moaning about even saying about her throat that was after though but i remember her saying to me that she was poorly and i kind of just like yeah well you're going to school you know just like just listening and um because they have this thing where it's not the Jamaican way, it's the English way. They don't really want to listen. So now I just, I just feel like, you know, I don't force them to do things. Normally I force them to eat breakfast. And not force, force, but be a bit more firmer with them to eat breakfast, hydrate yourself, bath this time, da 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 da. You know, when I had the problem with my son, all of a sudden, all of them things, I'm not that strict on and you know sometimes she 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 do a gymnastic she lose so much energy maybe she's not fully hydrated all different sort of things it just made me just think you know rose you just have to keep going keep going no matter what had happened try and keep going do your best and stuff you know my eldest Kami have a sit down and chat laugh at me he's been there partying and stuff like that you see some other things in yourself and like um his his dad's in him and you, you just have to take the rough with the smooth really and you know life till he feel a huge gap in our life all my children feel a huge gap even to shane when i was having the his his fit thinking here here we go again you know always want your friends to be directing you where you're going in life or where you're not what you're not doing and it's the move guys when i was saying it makes sense in the end it's the move that we um are gonna do that making um was acting up you know didn't want to come home because he's not gonna go to the same school with his friends and um the whole transitioning and but you know I, I have to you know it's very difficult for me it's very difficult on my partner very very difficult on him and he don't complain you know he really don't complain he does his best but it's time for us to make the sacrifice and um go through maybe some hard times before we should we can go through some great times again and whatever the road is ahead i'm willing to take that journey with him because he's been there through all my rough and my smooths for the last three years now and yeah uh, um i feel like it's a new beginning you know don't wait around because even though i live my life because of my kids and stuff like that they're quite happily living their life and just i just have to try and be there for the best way i can for them but don't feel like um gonna be staying in one place because of um the unknown you know it's just just living and hope that you are guiding being guided in your, your, your the way you live and what you do and just be mindful and just be trying to be alert and listen to the signs because even me stressing myself out in town trying to sort out the paperwork in the end we didn't even use that paperwork so it was just you know just 
sometimes you get in such a state over stuff that when you look back you think you know why were you like this why were you like that but when I tell you guys grateful happy less scared less you know because I know like with some form of like little encouragement goes a long way it was just the voice of that with my middle son saying mom calm down let me get the phone that made me speed up on the process of dialing 999 faster than if I was still just in that unsure state of what's happening and um you know we need each other we have to be you know um, my kids are very lovable like myself like people like love being around us but we also have to be our own keeper for our own family like uh, you have to be a brother's keeper in this case it's your sister but well, i need my kids i need my you know we haven't got much family um immediate so i need my family i need my kids and always love each and every one of my children you know i've been for a lot to to still be here with my kids I, I i you know always say you know it's nobody's fault but i do get the least help with my children because i try to do everything by myself and all the rest of it and um you just know that you just see so much good and greatness in them and you know they're gonna come full tilth you know and sometimes maybe when I look at it, that's what each and every one of them have to go through, so try not to worry so much. But, you know, when I have a laugh with them, it just bring me back to the old times when I used to have a laugh with them. And I just hope that laughter, we don't lose that in our life and in our family, that sense of laughter um, with them and just making them know that, yeah, mom have to be good cop bad cop but, but she have enjoyment in her as well and she can laugh and she can see the funny side of things and she can see the serious side of things as well etc round and round and yeah just one day at a time really guys one day at a time new beginnings um you know even with my youngest one you know he wasn't planning he, he came out nowhere that was a blessing you know children are a blessing let's not sleep on our blessings that's what that's what the lessons I've learned recently and um, try not to overthink or over um, worry about things and be thankful for the people that stay for you for your good and your bad times or there for the being the voice of reason and stuff because I tell you I can hear Angelo, he's got up, he went to bed after his breakfast, probably about after 12, something like that. And um, he's due a bottle now, so he probably start shouting, Mom, Mom, Mom. So, I'm going to have to go, guys. Like I always say, look after you. If you can't look after you, you can't look after anyone else. Um, <laughs> I just dragged my wig on, I didn't lay or nothing, but, it, you know, it's neither here nor there. But uh, when I tell you, I'm just grateful and happy and thankful and yeah here's the new beginning here here's to me getting up packing whatever i can pack and just taking on this journey not being afraid because my partner like i've said he's been with me through the good and the bad times when times are hard and he's always there in the dark times and you know no no relationship is perfect but yeah i, I can take this plunge with him with his journey to 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 get on with life you know with my, with my kids and him and who's with us is with us who's not it's just just life and we just have to do what we, the best we can and um i've learned that i'm here to set examples as well i knew that in the past sometimes you get and stuff and we are here for some reason and a journey and stuff and just not being fearful the only person who, yeah, our fear is God and I try to um, make sure that yeah that's about it really because yeah you live and you learn and you, life is a learning process you're always learning you know 
you're always learning every day no matter how old you are you're always learning you're never too late to learn especially in a positive way i feel so the joy of looking at my little tilly rose is incredible and it you know, as time go by, I always say, I, I, I don't really like making sad videos, but I definitely had to share this. And there's many more stories to, sh to be shared. Um, yeah, life is precious. And and I always taught, taught my kids as well, like, if you're in any situation, just call upon God's name. And if you call upon convictions, you, you, you will be delivered. You know, so in, in any situation the way you're scared or you're not sure, all the rest of it. So I'm glad I got that teaching when I was growing up and I'm glad I'm able to pass that on to my kids and I hope they're able to pass that on to each other. And um, yeah, sometimes when you think it hasn't sink in or it, the, the teaching has not been taught, it, it actually is because you see examples and signs of that it has resonated. So I am thankful yeah it's funny it's a sunday now i'm sitting here just talking to you guys um yeah so you know until next time guys like always say like 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 share 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 and subscribe <laughs> like 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 share 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 and subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video Bye guys, have a blessed day. Bye guys.